Today, we're going to have a look at how we can perform a hybrid search in Pinecone. Now, a hybrid search is where we perform a semantic search and also a keyword search. Now, we know semantic search is an incredibly useful tool that allows us to search based on the meaning or concepts rather than relying on specific keywords. But sometimes a, a, a more traditional basic keyword search, it can be quite useful, particularly if you know what keywords appear in the documents that you're searching for. So Pinecone allows you to perform a hybrid search, uh, allowing us to both perform a semantic search and a keyword search. Let's have a look at how that works. So we start with our full index with all of our vectors. And what we do is apply our keyword search to filter out irrelevant vectors from our search scope. And then we introduce our query vector and using that query vector, we find top K, in this case, three most similar vectors. And this is a semantic search portion of our query. And those are our top K most similar results using hybrid search. Now let's have a look at how we can actually implement that in Pinecone and start adding some basic keyword search logic in there using and or and not modifiers. So we're going to start with a few sentences. So here we just have 10 sentences that are completely random. And uh, what we first need to do with these sentences as we, as we usually would with semantic search is we need to encode them. And we'll be encoding them to produce sentence embeddings. Uh, for that, the, the easiest approach is to use the sentence transformers library, uh, which you can, you can pip install uh, using these, this code here. And of course, you will also need the Pinecone client as well. So here, all we're doing is initializing a sentence transformer, and we're using one of the more recent sentence transformers uh, to produce our embeddings. Uh, to produce our embeddings, we so we initialize our model up here, and all we do is we call the encode method and pass all of our sentences to that. And that will produce all of our embeddings. And we can find a shape of that it will be 10 embeddings or 10 sentence embeddings. And each one of those has a dimensionality of 768. So now what we need to do, so that's the semantic search portion of our data. Now we need to deal with the keyword search portion of our data. So when we upset our data to Pinecone, we're going to need to include a list of tokens or a list of words so that we can then use that list of words to filter and perform our keyword search. So to build that list of tokens for each one of our sentences, we're going to use Hugging Faces Transformers library. So for that, we're going to write for, from Transformers import and we're going to import the auto tokenizer class. Now it's important that we use a tokenizer that uses word level tokenization because many of these tokenizers do not split sentences into words, but they split into subwords or even byte level encodings. So we need to make sure that we're using a word level tokenizer. And that is what this model here is. There's, so this transform XLWT103. The tokenizer for that is a word level tokenizer. So we initialize that and we'll put all of our ink tokens within a variable called all tokens. And we'll use list comprehension. All we need to do is write tokenizer and we use the tokenize method. And then in here, we want to pass our sentence. We also need to lowercase it because this tokenizer will not lowercase our text by default. So we just handle that. And we're doing that for each sentence in all of our sentences. 
And let's have a look at what that looks like for our first sentence. Okay, so you can see that we've split our first sentence, which you can see up here, into a list of words, which is exactly what we need in Pinecone to perform a keyword search. So that's everything we need in terms of data. Uh, we have our dense vector representations, the sentence embeddings, and we also have our uh, keywords, the list of tokens. So let's continue and we will connect to a Pinecone instance. Uh, if you haven't used Pinecone before, you can get a free API key over here. So we run our initialization cell. And then what we'll need to do is create a new index. Now, before we create that index, what I'm going to do is list all of my current indexes to make sure I don't overwrite any existing indexes. Now, I don't have any at the moment, so that's fine. I can call this whatever I want, but I'm going to go with keyword search. Now, you can name this anything you like. It doesn't. You don't have to use the same name as what I'm using here. So what I'm going to do is create the index. And then after that, I initialize my connection to that index. So I run both of those. And then just note here, I'm passing the vector dimensionality uh, when I create the index there. And we can check this. So this will be this 768 that we saw earlier. Okay, so we can see the, the 768 there. And now what we want to do is uh, merge all of the data that we've created so far. So when we upset data to Pinecone, we want a list of tuples. Each one of those tuples is going to contain a ID, a value, which is our sentence embedding, and also any metadata. Now the tokens that we're creating, we will include within the metadata field. And we'll include that using this format here. So we can imagine within that metadata field that every single record or sample, we are going to have this tokens and that will map to the list of tokens for each sentence. So we'll execute that. And then we upset all of that to our index. And we'll see a little response here telling us how many samples or records we upserted, which in this case is 10, as we, as we would expect. Now, alternatively, if you'd like, you can also upsert with a curl. And, and for that, you just reformat your data into a dictionary format, save it to a JSON object, and then upsert it using this curl command here. Now, the URL that you see here, you will have to uh, go into your Pinecone dashboard and find the URL for your index. Now, I've upserted all of the data into our index. So let's go ahead and start querying. So the first thing we need to do is create a, a query sentence. So we just have this string here. And what we do is we encode that using the same model that we used earlier to encode uh, all of our sentences. And we then convert that to a list because it is otherwise a NumPy array and we need to make sure we are sending our requests with the list. So we execute that. And let's start with a simple query uh, without any keyword search at the moment. So we pass our Query vector xq. We say we'd like to return the top k results. I'm going to set that equal to 10, so we're just returning everything. And I'm going to include metadata uh, just for this call, and then I'll remove this just so we can see what we have in our index. Okay, so we can see we have our ID in here, and we also have inside this metadata field we have all of our tokens. Okay, and it's using th these tokens here that will be performing our keyword search. And if we just save this and 
if we just iterate through those results, we rule like this for x in just have a look here results you see we have results and then we want to enter the zero index of that list and then we're going to matches to get to the uh, the records that have been returned to us so right in results results zero and matches and you see here that we're returning the 10 IDs of our sentences. So what we now want to do is move on to actually implementing a, a keyword search. So we'll make it a very uh, simple query to, to start with. So the index of query, we have XQ top K. And we'll set that we'll set that 10 again we're just returning everything and then we can set our filter and it's through this filter that we perform our keyword search so we want to return only records where within tokens there is the word bananas and again we will get these ids from here we're going to store them in the IDs variable. Let's have a look what we get. Okay, so you can see straight away we're restricting our search and there are only four records that contain the word bananas. So we're now restricting our search. So what we can now do is for I in IDs, I'm going to print each one of those sentences. So we have all sentences. I. Okay, and we can see so to make sure that we're converting this back to an integer value. And now we return those sentences. So we can see each one of these does contain the word bananas. Okay. Now, what we might say is that we'd like to return sentences where we have one of two words so we're going to do bananas and way this time so we're going to introduce the or logic now we take this code here and let's take this as well and what we're going to do in our filter here we are going to modify this to use the or modifier so we have all, and then using all, we can pass a list of conditions. And if any one of these conditions is true, we will return that record. So we're going to say tokens contains bananas, or tokens contains way. And let's return and see what we get. So you can see that we're returning one new sentence, which is this one here, okay? Which does not contain bananas, but it does contain way. Now, that's using the, the or statement here, uh, but we can also use, which is probably simpler, we can also write this using the in modifier so we first write tokens and then we say within tokens within or in or we want to search for any records that contain either bananas or way and this will produce the exact same results as, as what we got before so you see we, we return those same five sentences so they're the two, two alternatives we have for all logic in our keyword search. And uh, let's copy this one. And what we're going to do is just modify all and replace it with and. So now we're saying we only want to return sentences that contain both 
the word bananas and also the word way. So we do that. And we see now we're only returning these two, which contain both of those words. Now, another thing that you, you might want to add here is, let's say maybe we, we do want the word way, but we also want to specify that we actually don't want any records that contain the word bananas. And again, we can, we can still use the, the and statement here. And the only thing we actually need to change is we have to add a not equals ne to the bananas condition. And this will invert that, that single condition here. Okay, so now we're searching for any records that do not contain bananas and contain the word way. So we execute that and we'll see that there's only actually one of those. So there's only one sentence that contains the word way and does not contain the word bananas. And what if we'd like to negate both of these? Well, uh, we could just add this, this any to the way condition as well. Or what is simpler, using the not in modifier. So actually what we can do is we'll, we'll come up here and you see we have the we have the in modifier here. Very, very similar. All we need to do is bring that down here and we replace in with not in. And if we then search, what we're doing here is searching for any records that do not contain the word bananas or the word way. So here we're saying any sentences that contain just one of these words we're not interested, we, we exclude those. So that's it for this introduction to hybrid search using both semantic search and keyword search in Pinecone. Uh, we hope that this has been useful and we'll see you in the next video.